Hey, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are America's grilling buddies, and we have Fast Freddy on the keyboards, Mr. Merrill, Mr. Mad Dog. We are in Lakewood, Wisconsin. We're at Woodland Trails Winery, and we're going to have a good time. No whining today, Freddy. Yeah, Freddy, always oh, yeah. wine. <laughs> really a little wine today for Freddy, that's for sure. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, Pit Boss Pellet Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Shooting Star Casino, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, The Oneida Nation, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. selection of wine here where we're at, I'll tell ya. <laughs> Freddy, what color, what color slushy would you like? You know that red one really looks pretty well, good. Well, that's the one I wanted. But I'll <laughs> we give it to you. So we got the red, so we had the red, here. the white, and the blue slushy here at Woodland Trail Winery. There you and, go. You uh, get they the have red. a slushy machine right. here, Mel. Yeah. I'll tell you what, boy, does that look yeah. good. And they can freeze them too, like with this blue one. This is already frozen. You can go ahead and pick this up. Take it home wrap with it up you. Take it, take it to the cabin. Take it to the cottage. Take it fishing. You'll be ready. Yep. You're all set. We're you have wow. it right on site. Yep. Great place. I gotta tell you how good it is, though. It is fantastic. I bet it is. Isn't it really it? is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save some for later. Yeah, there won't be. I can guarantee you. Hey, keep on looking at that. We are, we are in uh, in Lakewood, Wisconsin, right off from Highway 32 on Big Hill Road, right right in Lakewood, Wisconsin, basically, but on Big Hill Road. And it's it's a great winery, uh, woodlandtrailwinery.com, by the way. And do you know what they have? We have thousands of recipes, right? But that's that for cooking. That's pretty yeah, darn good. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got 90 different recipes for different wines. I know, and the wine and selection inside is just phenomenal. Uh, 50 to 60 wines at all times. I right. mean, just phenomenal. Set up from reds to whites to seasonals. You have your summer, your fall, your holiday wines. You have your fruit wines. Just, just amazing. Just, just amazing. I was just amazing. So we, it. so in front of us, we have a, a scant few selections of what we're using uh, here today. Okay. And the first recipe we're gonna choose that that one of my favorites Ooh. when I did drink wine was uh, the Zin. I love the Zin. I'm a, I was a Zin man all in all. Yeah, you were. Delicious, delicious stuff. So I chose that out of. Uh, Remembrance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good remembrance. I'm glad you are, because I like Zen too. So I'm going to say this, say this uh, the right way so nothing happens here. We're going to do Wine Castle Burgers. Well, I like Wine Castle. I don't think anybody, anybody's ever done Wine Castle Burgers. It's the first here in Lakewood, that's for sure, and it's the first for uh, Woodland Trail Winery. Uh, so we're going to do some nice little Wine Castle Burgers, and, and it can be done in any sheet. We just happen to have a large paella pan here. Right. But you can do it on a, a cookie sheet pan at home, that's for darn sure. And so all we're simply going to do is take our, our beautiful Zen. Now they have a tab on these. I'm, I'm the old-fashioned way. You are an old-fashioned type of man. That's, that's for, for sure, sure. Right there. Don't cut yourself. No, I no. think we're on TV. It'd be embarrassing. <laughs> He's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I got these. I got plastic <laughs> gloves on. You know what? <laughs> Just hold on one Pretty second. Pretty going to rip them off. Too. I've tried that before. Trying to do that. Oh, you got it. Here we go. Even with plastic gloves, ladies and exactly. gentlemen, you can take that off. Well, we're just going to pop that baby right up. Somewhere there's a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get so nervous on TV. <laughs> it's the first time you've had a bottle with a cork. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> plastic gloves on. You got nervous. It's like, holy cow. So our, our uh, Wine Castle burgers... Uh, and, and a lot of times we use a nice burgundy. Yes, the, we the, do. The Zin is going to be absolutely yeah. phenomenal. We're going to take a little bit of the the Woodland Trail wine, or wine, and we're going to do a little bit of the Zin. And I'm going to make a little pocket in here. Is what I'm going to do. This is four pounds of nice beef. And we're going to add some beautiful <laughs> wine, just enough to get the flavor in there. You know what I'm talking about? Well, it's amazing how much just even a little bit of wine on there will really add the flavor to that too. Uh, we have a garlic pepper blend, sodium free. So we're going to add a little garlic pepper inside of there. I'm gonna add a, a, a onion soup mix, dried onion soup mix to that. Yep. To add the onions inside of there. Now the real non wine castle would have. A lot of times it has the liver, baby liver. Yeah, you, yeah. You can go to the uh, Gerber section. You get right. some, get some uh, uh, baby liver. What do you call that stuff? 
Sure, but it's the baby food that she uses in there. <laughs> and I think it was, yeah. Hey, while I'm doing this, watch this. We're going to take a little of the Zen, and we're going to take our onions. There you go. Yeah, and, and, th and this is actually, we're going to make onions. 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 Lots of onions. So these are going to be used in, the, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, right in the sector too. But I want to get a little of the flavor that's in my okay. onions too, for sure. Because that's. I like that. Uh, I so guess we're going to take cool. some. We're going to take some nice uh, breadcrumbs here. All right. We have the uh, the egg in there. We got three eggs. We got some breadcrumbs. Uh, we got a little bit of Worcestershire here. I don't want to waste my time on these okay. babies here, but. And all we're simply going to do is mix this up and press this down into the pan. All right. Fits your frustrations. <laughs> <laughs> my unzen bag. My unzen bag was in the way. <laughs> All right. You got to use some of the works in there, or is it? Uh, no, you know, it, it, normally a lot of times I'd use the works in there, but I don't want to take away from the, the beautiful flavor of that. I appreciate yeah. it. I yeah, appreciate yeah, it. I, I agree. On there. So you sure can use our, our well. works in there. What a selection! What a nice little gift shop they have here. You can you can drink on site and, and they'll cork the bottle for you, uncork the bottle for you. You can Thank drink you. on site, uh, or they'll they'll pop it. You can drink some of the wine. They'll recork it for you if you want to. But that don't happen very often because the wine's so gosh darn good. But so all we're gonna do is press these down. Boy, you got it. Well, I should use that for therapy in my hand. You're supposed to put your little you know, knock on there. That would have helped. You got good it. Good job. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our unzins. They have the flavor of this beautiful red zin. I like that idea. And because it, because we be don't good. flip these burgers, we're just going to take that. We're going to layer those on top. We're going to place that on top of our grill, and it's going to cook from the bottom up, just like you would the regular wine castle burgers right. in a sheet pan. Do you ever make wine castle burgers? Yes, sir, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Sometimes gonna... I forget the wine. And, uh, it, all right, that's going to be good. Oh, man. And Meryl's going to use that beautiful Zen, too. Oh, I am going to use that Zen. I'm going to do a marinade. I'm actually going to marinate some round steak, believe it or not. And uh, marinate's very good. The flavor of the wine will really adhere to the meat. I've got a round steak here, a nice thick round steak. And then for the marinade, very simple. First of all, I'm going to use a little bit of our spicy barbecue sauce here. Is it the spicy I got? It is the spicy. Yep. It's got a habanero mash. They have our sauces and spices. So when you're up in Lake, when you're looking for a nice place to get some barbecue sauces and spices, uh, Russ and Deb do carry our nice sauces here too, by the way. Balsamic vinegar. I like using vinegar, especially if I'm going to use that with even with our sauce in there for a marinade. Makes a big difference. Thins that down a little bit. Yep. Pour it on there. Okay. And then I've got a little bit of our seasoning. Garlic, garlic pepper. pepper, and then I've also got some of our citrus twist. I'm not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. Okay, get that out of the way. A little bit of diced up onions in there too. Can I pour a little bit of the zin in there? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, put that on. Oh, oh, oh. good, good, good. Freddie, you want to taste a little zin? Are you a zin man? I would try it. Okay. <laughs> That's a dumb question. You <laughs> want to try a little zin? I just wanted to pretend. I would try it. I love Zim. I do too. I really do. What That's a selection of wines on the inside. I got some fresh rosemary. Woodlandtrailwinery.com. Woodlandtrailwinery.com. A little, little rosemary, a little ginger. Yeah, marinate those for, you're going to marinate those probably for a, a few hours right I'll now. I bet you I would. I go two to four hours. Yeah. That's all what you need. I dice up the, uh, slice up the ginger. Hey, before cold. we go, before we take this little break, watch this baby right here. Okay. That's a, that's a whole head of cauliflower. <laughs> And what I did is I put it in a Ziploc baggie and I nuked it till it's nice and tender. And we're gonna we put olive oil over the top. I put a little bit of our grilling magic over the top of that. I'm gonna place that on the grill and we're gonna sear that up, get that all nice and darkened. And then it's gonna go into a cast iron Dutch oven with a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. With, oh, uh, with yeah. a stick Sauvignon of butter. Sauvignon. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, so we'll be right back. Freddie's, Freddie's gonna zin our way out of here. Well, zin out, Freddie. Oh, what a zin. Freddie's playing again. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Freddie, you're really grilling up a storm. I almost slipped on that slip, that little spot of oil. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
We're doing we are in Lakewood, sure. Wisconsin. We were at uh, we are are at <laughs> Woodland Trail Winery. What a great place! What oh. nice folks! What a nice little community. In fact, every second Saturday after Labor Day. So this is this. We don't want to date the shows, but in 2021, this year it's September 18th. There's a beautiful fall festival called Fall Fest. Fest of Fall. The Fest of Fall. That's the Fest of Fall. And it's food and fun and wine. Yes. I'm okay. For that. Okay, we got we got limited time here, folks. Okay. Uh, beautiful holidays are coming up. Uh, ham on the grill is phenomenal. Ham glazes are delicious. Wine ham glazes are great. The number one problem with ham slices, you overcook it. These are gonna go on the grill for about three minutes on both sides. Merrill's gonna make with the cranberry uh, wine right here a at cranberry Woodland Trail. Glaze. Yes, I've got some chilled cranberries here. That I've got stirred up. Obviously, I use a little bit of our cranberry wine. We're gonna make a nice glaze on this. Comes out really good, good flavor for it. Start with a little bit of honey to sweeten it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's gotta have honey. Come on. There she goes. There she goes. I'll stir, stir you do the stir. ingredients. A little mustard, because I can't cut it anymore. <laughs> Little Dijon. 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 I like using Dijon mustard. The flavor is really good. A little cinnamon, I believe, and a little nutmeg. You got a little bit of cinnamon. Obviously, some ginger. And I'm going to brush that on the ham steaks. It'll come out absolutely excellent, sir. Sounds there, great. how is that? Sounds great. With all good ham, you need a little pineapple. So I got some wonderful pineapple wedges. One of the selections of the 50 to 60 they have on at all time, uh, they have a beautiful Hawaiian twilight. Uh, and, and this has got a beautiful pineapple flavor to it. So we're gonna add a little bit of pineapple on that wine and let that soak up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil on top of there and we're gonna place that in a minute or two on with our ham steaks right as soon as we flip them because that'll only take a second or two but that's gonna absorb like a sponge that gorgeous pineapple wine there. Pears on the grill are delicious paired with wines. You can use any type of beautiful crisp white wines uh, but they happen to have a wonderful Pear wine. <laughs> yes. That's the Sauvignon Blanc for the cauliflower. Had we used that, we'd have been in trouble. So we're going to take some pears. I'm simply going to hollow out the center, and we're going to glisten those with a little oil. We're going to take that beautiful pear wine, and we're going to marinate the pears. And I actually marinated mine prior to this in a little bit of wine. But we're going to add a little bit of pear wine and marinate those. Those go on the grill, those beautiful little pears. So these are all the pear halves. These are all halves of pears I cut up. We put them in a little bit of wine, marinated. Those go right on the grill over here with the beautiful ham steak. And I'm gonna put those caps side down. We're gonna flip our ham steak here. Uh -oh. You wanna see the cheeseburgers? <laughs> so these, these, these are our wine castle burgers. Those are cooking nice. We got a beautiful platter of, of uh, cheese here. So we're gonna make Wine Castle cheeseburgers for the good folks watching us here today. So we're gonna put good, the cheese man. on top of there. Those are looking just absolutely delicious. Those are gonna cut up with a little spatula. Burgers. Nothing gonna be better than this, you know? He can open his own store. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> and sell hamburgers. And here, here's good. something that's never been done before. Beautiful uh, Dutch oven uh, here at, at, at Woodland Trail Winery. They have such a great selection. This is hotter than Dutch love. Uh, we're going to place our cauliflower that's been browned up and hot and tender. I'm going to place that cap side down, if you will. That's cap side down. We're going to throw a stick of butter in there. We're going to throw some about seven cloves of garlic oil around there. And that Sauvignon Blanc, which is so delicious. Crisp wine on a nice warm day. We're going to pour that over the top of the cauliflower. We're going to pour some in the bottom. And we're gonna let that steam down on top of the grill for about 15 minutes just to add that beautiful wine. And that's to cap things oh, off. Oh man. How we're gonna be right back to wrap off. this up. Don't forget to go to woodlandtrailwinery.com in Lakewood, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. Big Hill Road! Yay. audience here. They, uh, they're all on wine too, by the way. They're all on wine. <laughs> don't, don't forget the best wine slushies in the world right here at Woodland Trail Winery. But all the selections of the wines are phenomenal. And the best news of all, seven days a week, 
all year round. I know, it's great, great place, beautiful place. I'm gonna grab the pears, you make me a glaze. All right, the glaze is gonna be very simple today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some garlic in here. I'm gonna use some corn syrup, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of their pear wine. And I like using the mason jar because then I can shake it all up in there. So here we go. Yeah, I'll probably go like about, maybe oh. about a half a cup. And I'll tell you what, these pears are just nice and tender. You don't want them too soft and you don't want them too no. crunchy. Now everybody uses blue Good cheese, table. Roquefort cheese for the pockets. So we're gonna do a few pockets of Roquefort in there. But for those folks who aren't fans of blue cheese, don't skip this recipe. Go grab that nice little uh, uh, Parmesan cheese flakes Ooh. and put the gorgeous flakes of Parmesan cheese in there because that baby's gonna oh, melt. Oh, that makes a flavor. Now that you, makes a difference. And you there. can do these while they're on the grates of the grill because then it does melt a little bit better and get to blend it more. But for the sake of argument today, we're gonna ladle those right there and place those there. There we go. Looking good, Daryl. Oh, 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 all right, sir, let's go. Let's Sounds go good, by the spoonful, by the spoonful. Love and spoonful. Oh, it was my favorite group. <laughs> and that's just that pear wine, just a little bit to give it a little extra. We did marinate it a tad bit, but that's just going to give it that little extra flavor. I like that. I could have that right now. Good job. Now I'll tell you, I was telling these folks, when a plan comes together, a plan comes together. It this does. paella pan. Got a plan, man? Is the most phenomenal thing you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> That's oh. a paella, that, that's the Wine Castle burgers right there with the beautiful Zin wine in there. Turned out absolutely phenomenal. Boy, I, Boy, I love the aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? It's, yeah. like, it's like caramelizing onions and wine. You can't go wrong. Now the cauliflower, I wish I could show you the butter and everything melting away down there. It's, it's phenomenal. I flipped it over halfway through, but the cauliflower is melted with butter and everything else, all those goodies in there. And we're gonna place this baby on the ground because I got more to take off. Well, I can smell the wine, too. I can. Yeah. Isn't that that, that's that yeah. Blanc, that Sauvignon Blanc. Watch, Watch your foot, watch your foot. <laughs> got it, thank you. Safety first, you're welcome. A lot of luck, uh, a little of my ham glaze. There's the ham on top of there. That's that beautiful glaze. Look at these. The pineapple in the Sauvignon Blanc. Man. Turned out wonderful. And I'll tell you what, we got a bunch of buns. We're going to get this baby ready. And when we come back, we're going to have a good time. Pineapple doesn't take very long either. No, it does Just not. And the paella, when you think it's browning up too much, it's really not. It's, it's not sticking on the bottom at all. We're going to cut it. In fact, here, watch this. We're going to take that baby right here. And we're just going to cut little wedges. And that's... Oh, yes, sir. That's Merrill's because he's been a, a good lad today. Those, All are, right, those, thank are, you. those are our little wine castle burgers. Thank you, done sir. To perfection. Whoa, don't want to knock that over either. We'll be right back to wrap this uh. baby up from Woodland Trail Winery, Woodland, WoodlandTrailWinery.com, Lakewood, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Sweet. New Air de Ulian. A what? New Air de Ulian. That's Swedish. We sing that every Christmas Eve, but you know how we celebrate? Oh. He's got the product right here. It's called Gluvine. Gluvine. Gluvine is as close to glug as you'll ever see. You put that Gluvine and you heat it and you put a cinnamon stick in there. So it's a wine. Yes. Thank you. It's yeah. a Christmas wine. I thought well, I was going to get rid of my wine. wrinkles. <laughs> 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 I got to tell you, we used to make glug. But we'd add all kinds of stuff and sure. muscatel and, and wine and some, some whiskey and all of that kind of stuff. Every batch was different. Glue vine is right on the money, and I got to tell you. And every Christmas you come up here just before Christmas and get the Christmas uh, That's wine. That's the name of the thing, and I share it with my relatives. Yeah. Did you know my grandma used to have a saying? What'd she say? She'd, she'd say, <laughs> through the fields run a thousand Swedes chased by one Norwegian. <laughs> I thought you were going to use that line, we will drink no wine until it's paid for. <laughs> I'll just eat my... my yeah, you're uh, going to be amazed. I go to, I, we've been to different wineries. You go there and there's a selection. 
There is a selection of wines. Oh, You'll man. be amazed. You'll be here for hours mm -hmm. just tasting wines, testing wines, looking at wines, buying wines, 50 to 60 different types of wines at all times, 90 different recipes total, total of wines they can make, so they rotate them. So once again, they're at Big Hill Road off from Highway 32 in Lakewood, and it's called Woodland Trail Winery, folks. Yes, great place. Well, we're going to dish up some of the Wine Castle burgers, They're cheeseburgers. Good. We're going to dish delicious. those up right now. They turned out phenomenal. You folks, till we meet again, peace, love, and happy grilling, folks. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lash Road Visual Communication.